was the personal responsibility of the Prime Minister to invite President Zelensky to the floor of this House of Commons. It was his personal responsibility to make sure it was a diplomatic success. Yet, this Prime Minister allowed for a monumental, unprecedented and global shame to unfold in this chamber. Will he take personal responsibility for this shame and personally apologize on behalf of himself? On behalf of all of us in this House, I would like to present unreserved apologies for what took place on Friday and to President Zelensky and the Ukrainian delegation for the position they were put in. For all of us who were present to have unknowingly recognized this individual was a terrible mistake and a violation of the memory of those who suffered grievously at the hands of the Nazi regime. Did the Prime Minister's national security, intelligence, or diplomatic officials vet the names of the people that the Prime Minister allowed within mere feet of President Zelensky? The privilege and responsibilities and rights of parliamentarians are sacrosanct and that the leader of the opposition would be suggesting that any visitor to this house should be vetted by the government of the day is actually a grievous attack on the rights and privileges of parliamentarians. However, if the leader of the opposition or the speaker or anyone our intelligence agencies to vet any of their guests, we would be more, more than happy to do that in respect of parliamentary rights. The CMP reports to the public safety minister who reports to the prime minister. And that prime minister is now saying that when he has foreign heads of state here, that terrorists, assassins, convicted murderers would all be allowed to just walk right into the building and be present within mere feet of a potential assassination target. For someone who prides himself on having spent as many years in this parliament as the leader of the opposition has, uh, having been minister of democratic institutions, albeit under Stephen Harper, uh, to demonstrate such little knowledge and respect for how parliament functions uh, in order to make a a partisan attack is truly disgraceful, Mr. Speaker. Is he really saying to future visits of foreign heads of state that, that, that he would have no problem letting in terrorists, assassins, or commit convicted criminals to be within mere feet of that foreign head of state? Yes or no? Mr. Speaker, I'm going to let the, uh, the supposed arguments of the Leader of the Opposition stand for Canadians to judge whether or not he's making any sense at all, Mr. Speaker. I'm not going to dignify that with a response.